Hello everyone, it's GamerCat09, and welcome to our third playthrough of The Quarry. And this time around, we're gonna get nasty, we're gonna get dirty, we're gonna be assholes, and we are going to slaughter everybody. Every single person. There will be no one left alive as as much as I can not let that happen. We will kill everybody. And yes, there is a way to kill everybody. So what we have to do is I have selected my first playthrough. And we are going to skip the prologue because the prologue does not matter. Um, we are going to start from chapter one because there is something we have to do. Well, two things we have to do in chapter one for this to work. And we'll get to that point. But if all goes well, then everybody will die. So let us begin. Literally nothing we say matters, so. Kids, you know, they'll get over it. Uh huh. Like they'll get over it, huh? What? That's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad. Oh my. <laughs> You know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh yeah, so cool that you're never gonna see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey! <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Hmm. Okay, so we don't have to worry about saying hi to anyone or seeing anything or collecting anything. We're just gonna go straight for it. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, broken. please. Sorry, guys. <sighs> cool. Thanks, guys. Hmm. Okay. You know, playing this the third time. Like, I get it. Like, I, I get the personality of everybody, and I no longer think that Dylan or Nick are dicks. I think they're just being trolls, because honestly, Jacob's a bit much, in my opinion. Oh, skill. <sighs> like, my least favorite character is Jacob, in all fairness. I don't care for him. I just don't. Where are these bags? Right here. We're not picking up tarot cards or anything. We're just going for the bags. <clears throat> It'll cut our playtime, too, as we <laughs> do certain things. Right? All right. Got the bags. Great. I'll Jacob's worse, yep. I think. I think Jacob's worse. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Hmm. Ah, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, 
me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, okay, Nick, and then Mr. H. And okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. <sighs> so she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't. Okay. I think I think Emma is like, the worst. Emma's worse than Different Emily, schools, blah, blah, for blah. sure. My whole thing is like you know, maybe long distance, blah 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah. Do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> I'll do brave. No, oh, but I mean seriously, come on. She's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. I love Kate listening uh, to this. Love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, mm. shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let's see. <laughs> ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, that seems legit. <laughs> wow. Na uh, put so the nail sure in the coffin. Old rust buckets roadworthy. <laughs> We'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, it doesn't kill you. It'll make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line, or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Jacob started the whole fucking thing. So we are going to steal the rotor arm for this to work. Because I got plans for you, Jacob. Oh, I got plans. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d Go long. Oh, dick. What happens if we don't catch our phone? <sighs> oh, come on, man. I'm so sorry, Jacob. Rough. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. Oh. Damn. Oh, shit. What's up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt. God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> Ooh. I'll pay to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. It's okay. Thank God. Huh. Not a peep. Either got zero signal, everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh. 50, you know what, 50. whatever, I can go hmm? one more day without a phone. Day? The drive's not that far. You know what I mean. Yeah, we got a break in. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three. Mm. Zero oh, effort. The power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. 
Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Okay. Aw. This was little Izzy. Gotta take our hip hoppity friend. I wanna play a game. <laughs> Keep it. Let's get you back to Izzy. Little does Izzy know it's not getting back to her. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. That's a terrible way to you should try it sometime. view that. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. I want to see what happens if we hit this. Oh. Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not really much. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the. Oh, right here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Cool. Ugh. Let's nudge, because I didn't nudge before. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I? Thank you. <laughs> yeah! Throws back. <laughs> so awkward. Ryan. Truth or dare? I'm a dare. Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> And I dare you to kiss either Caitlyn or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. And you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. This time I'm going to kiss Caitlyn. Caitlyn? Shall we? Always happy to please. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Let's pick Jacob. Alright, Jacob, let's see what you're made of. Oh, there. There, man, come on. Okay. I dare you to take a flying leap over that fire pit. Naked. Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing, I don't care! Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, Whoa. Jacob, wait. Don't do it. Stop. Dude, I say veto, you're gonna fuck yourself up. What? No, come on, man, I got this. Ryan, come on. Fine, Vito. You know what? I fine wish they let him jump. All right, <clears throat> someone else can go. Okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? Zilch. Nada. You return without any more of my cards. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I don't know. It just makes me come here. I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. 
please, my friend. Mm. Getting nasty. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. What happens if we don't call back? Follow voice. Nick. Uh, Is that so you? we could hide, technically. It's me. Hmm. Run! Run to camp! We're gonna leave him! Ah! Maybe that's where she got bit. We'll make all these. Run. No, we're not climbing the tree because that's stupid. He lost his thing. No. Not the rotor arm. Oh dear. Oh no. Let us dive in and get the rotor arm. Into the dark water that we can totally see in. Oh, dick. And she just swims it. Like, she's just fuck it. She doesn't even care. Also, why is it so lit under the water? I would love to know. There it is! Let's get it! Grab! Oh boy, he got a close-up of a body. Oh man. Pull! Pull! Panic! Oh no! Cancel! 
<laughs> Jacob died. He didn't die. He's still there. <laughs> Oh, gee golly shucks, Jacob's dead. Is that evidence? Bloated corpse. A bloated decomposing corpse chained to the bottom of the lake? That's all we got? Hmm. Who is the bloated corpse? My theory is I know there were two hikers and I think they said a reporter that like disappeared. So my theory is one of them one of them they probably killed them or they died and then to hide the bodies they they put them on weights and chain them under the water so that way they don't be found but the thing is with a corpse with a bloated corpse is that it will decompose and like pieces will float in the water so like you can't hide a body forever you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. There's, there's probably other better ways of getting rid of a body than that, but I guess that was like a temporary solution. Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. Eh, still got nothing for you. So, then, what have we got? Oh, you didn't find any of my cards. <laughs> She's so bad, like, you didn't find any of my cards. I want to help you, really. I do. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. <laughs> oh, the fun you'll have. I just made myself a little list here so I can cross off people as they're murdered. Double dose of bear. Call out. I wonder what's gonna happen, because Jacob's dead. Hey! Who's here? Got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. Ryan, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? But be careful. Who's rustling then? It was probably nothing. Yeah. Gone. Yeah, you better run. Cause see, this was breathe. this was our second chance to kill Jacob. Cause Jacob right. is in the bush so, uh, if he doesn't drown. Who says that? Who says how do Take you do? That's in, a folks. fine. How do you do? That's who the who the hell camp says that? Right there, and now oh, look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize this. Do you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. We're gonna open the trap door and die a horrible, spooky, painful death. Final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an encore. Bye, Emma. Ni nice, nice to see you. Thanks for coming. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Good night. question if Ryan has the keys to the place so like theoretically the kids have the keys for the entire place so why later on in the game can nobody unlock the fucking door to Chris's office especially since Nobody's there and they're being hunted. Why didn't they just like why didn't you just go around and unlock all the doors? I I 
I have questions. Like, they had the fucking keys. They could have unlocked the doors. They could have locked doors. Like, I, I don't know. Whatever. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? Yeah. A couple times, yeah. All the time. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Why does she call them by name? I know I'm pausing all the time, but it's just easier to talk when no one's talking over me. Why does the hag keep calling them? Is it because of the tarot cards or is it because of something else? I, I'd like to know people's thoughts about that. To lure them into what? I don't have control going back there. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Ha! Ah. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Hmm. <laughs> That's what you say. A time again, is it? Why do you come? <laughs> Why have not found my cards? There are truths in the cards. Truths the if you bring them to me. Oh. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. <laughs> To be fair, I don't want to show up. The game just makes me. <laughs> I don't want to show up. The game's just like, you're here. It's just like, okay, I didn't get anything, but here we are. Oh, crap. I pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go, quickly. Like, why would you reach your hand up into the roof where there's an animal obviously walking around? Okay, hang on. Oh look, a convenient chainsaw. Oh. Should I shotgun it off? I know I've chainsawed it off. Can I shotgun it off? Soul says shoot. Crystal doesn't trust it. No, we can't have him turn. We need him to die. No, I don't want to redo this. Okay, well, well, well. Just cut it off. Are you sure? Yes, fucking do it. Fucking do it. No. I can't. Oh, fuck. Dude. Oh, it's so painful. Oh, he turns if you shoot it? Okay. Damn. The wire, get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. <laughs> then get it on it. Plug it, plug it into the thing. Uh, keep pressure on it. <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. <sighs> How come? Okay, wait, 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 wait. How come? He could hear us pulling a wire and like attacked Dylan, 
but the chainsaw didn't make him want to burst in through the fucking roof or the door. <laughs> we made the chainsaw go off. Like, that's gotta be fucking loud. How how does the werewolf just go, uh, and then, like, I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I'm starting to find loopholes. The more that I'm playing this game over and over again, I'm starting to find loopholes, and I just don't get it. Did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> and the shock setting in. He's all like, ha, 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 we did it. He's like, oh, fuck, my Why hand's you gone. You told me to. You told me to, dude. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, she's gonna be mad. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. No cards means no greeting. Simple as that. Keep looking, though. There are still cards to find somewhere out there. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. Hmm. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. <laughs> She's happy because... Fucking Kaylee's dead. Abby. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Of course. Medium are Can well done. Me. You know what? Let's be aggressive. I don't know what's going on with you right now, but I like the old Nick better. I knew it. I knew it. You don't like me at all. That's not what I said. Why won't you tell me the truth? I am telling you the truth. I don't know hung out with you because you seem so desperate. Poor, pathetic little Abby, ready to throw herself at the first guy that came along. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bat. This isn't you. This this isn't you. I <gasps> Sorry, Abby. Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. Everybody do the Caitlyn. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, uh, uh. understand why Nick just bit her and then just ran out the fucking window. Like, he had three other meals there and he just left. I don't know. But no, nope, Abby died, so cancel. Here we are again. Oh, man. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Did you look hard enough? <laughs> These cards aren't just trinkets. You know this by now. They, Did they, you they, look hard they, enough? I can help you. Are you, you blind? One down, another. It's not terribly 
exciting. Damn! Huh? Is she gonna be even more mad with us? It's always nice to see you. Isn't it fun delving into the past? They're a bad lot, aren't they? Yeah, so are you. Shall we have a look at what you found? Nothing to show, nothing to see. What more do you want me to say? <laughs> Find the cards or stumble around in the dark. Choice is yours. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that. As long as you follow the right path, of course. Uh, what happened here? Eh, oh yeah, Abby's not here. here. Gosh, I used to think this place was so cozy. This place, really? Yeah, it reminded me of a ski lodge. Sounds cold. <laughs> like you've never fantasized about being trapped on a remote ski resort in a snowstorm? No, it sounds terrible. The car is broken and you've only got each other for warmth. And when the food runs out, you've only got each other. No, it sounds awful. I hate that. No. Weird fantasy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever. I won't open up about my vibrant fantasy life anymore. Is that that's what's going on in your vibrant fantasy life? It's not that weird. It's pretty weird. Okay, it's no weirder than this situation. Yeah, I guess there are comparisons that could be made. <sighs> I. I I can't stop picturing what happened to Abby. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Let's just get the van up and running, okay? Yeah. Get the van, sure. Yeah, that was an Until Dawn reference, the ski lodge. That was like an ode to Until Dawn. Like, stuck up in a ski lodge and the cable cars broke. And we only have each other for warmth. There's no Emma. Huh. Nobody. Well, let's see what the damage is. How does Caitlin not, uh, like, know that Jacob stole well, the rotor arm? Fix or no fix? Okay. Can you fix it? No. Nope. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but there's hope. That's where we're gonna find it. Like, how does she not put two and two together and say, like, oh, Jacob was the one who sabotaged like this? Like... <sighs> Dylan, come on. I need you. We need you. Fine. Like, if somebody okay. tried to ask me Once a- Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. Like, if someone tried to joke around and ask Dylan? me a hypothetical- yeah. Shut the fuck up. Aw, uh, I'm starting to dislike you. Mm, like I care. Oh, that's new. Because even Jacob was like, hypothetically, you know, what happens, like, like, what could I do to, like, ruin the the car or whatever? And, like, she just tells him. I, I understand they're friends, but it's like... I'd be like, I'm not fucking telling you. No. Man. You're not happy about something up there. Laura? Oh, that's how. Done. <sighs> Goodbye, Nick. Sorry you had to go this quick. Uh. So that's four now? 
Oh, shit. Hey, let her go. Hey, Ma, send Bobby down. Ooh. Oh. Welcome back. Did you miss me? Next one is... Hopefully Della? you bought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? No, not one. There isn't much of the night left. Everything that happens has a consequence. You've not much more time to bring me cards. Don't waste your chance. No, we had the same music last time. Yeah. Go. You've still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. So, we got we got a lot of lot of shit coming up right now. So, what we have to do is um with with Dylan and Caitlin, we have to get Dylan killed. We have to wait for Caitlin to the end. Then in the Hackett house, um Ryan will get stabbed. He cannot pull the knife out. We have to stab Bobby. And that way he'll fail. Then Laura has to attack... Well, well, first of all, Laura has to kill Constant, Constance in the beginning. Then Ryan gets stabbed. Then, um... Then Ryan will stab Bobby. So Bobby will die later. Then Laura has to attack... Jedediah and then that will kill all three of them. Ryan needs to stay alive to shotgun Chris because Ryan, Laura and Travis have to go to the final part. So we have to just keep those three alive. Everybody else is going to die there. Dylan's going to die and then we're going to be left with Caitlin in the lodge. That's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> Here we go. Easy, Ma. Put me down, you bitch. Pull your fucking head up. Bitch. Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't, can't see, you darling. Can't see, darling. Want a bet? Grab my gun and I'll find you. Gotcha. What you did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off me. It is still terrible to see. Oh my god. Alright. Another one down. Another one bites the dust. Everybody stop. I love how he does CPR on her. Like, here? that's gonna help her face. Uh. Wiggle. Wiggle. Like, I Darling. don't understand. Wiggle. Wiggle. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. They're not the brightest people, are they? <sighs> Effortlessly, just pull my knife. What a terrible place to be stabbed. Like, right in the fucking lung. Like, he should be coughing up blood right now. So, let's, let's see what happens. Hope she plays Moonlight Sonata. Play. Damn! Dead. Wow. 
Whoa, she glitched a little. Why is it a dick? I don't understand, but nothing happened. <laughs> ah! It was like we scared him. We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. <laughs> You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure the hell can make you suffer. Oops. And boop. And boop. Left, left, left. So what's bothering her? Is it the lights? Attack. Like, are, is it because of the lights? They're, they're afraid of the lights? Goodbye, Jed. Oh, man. He doesn't look devastated to me. Okay, now he does. Okay, that's devastation. Good, good acting. Still can't shoot us, can ya? Wait! We we damn near killed your whole family. You still can't shoot us. The fuck? This isn't a family thing anymore. He doesn't care. Here we go. Yo, come, come on, man. You gotta help me. I do. Yeah, I promise. I won't tell anyone anything. No, man. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. Stab. <laughs> You stabbed me! Yeah, fucking hurts, don't it? I ain't never been stabbed before. Oh man, right in the Leave head. Ow, oh, it really hurts. Dad! Just like right in the right in the tit. Oh, I Are need this or no? I need Ryan alive to kill Chris. So we're going to accept. Just do it. Okay. Ah. Nice and tender for you. Worst hickey ever. Okay, okay, okay. Now oh, he only bleeds out after killing Chris. Interesting. Warn mm. mm. Caitlin. Oh, fuck. Dylan, get the damn werewolf off 
understand why she jumped out of the car. I'm sorry, Dylan. I'm so sorry. God! Holy shit! No, Dylan. Ah. Ah. I'm sorry, dude. They made him like look like he was so sad, like he just had puppy dog eyes before he died. Oh my god! Here we go. Bobby's dead. Chris is dead. and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. How? Let's just... She's gonna be even, like... Look to the future, shall we? More angry. That was your last chance. I can't help you anymore. Oh. You're on your own. Interesting. Wow. She's like, well, you're screwed. Goodbye. <laughs> He's got the same okay. outfit. We didn't even change. Yeah, what? <laughs> we didn't take his clothes. What? what? <laughs> right? Did he drag her body off somewhere? Did he eat her? Like, what happened? Can I find her? I died. Right? Oh, does he find her? Oh, fuck. <gasps> there she is. Oh, no. Oh. So he dragged her out of the treehouse to munch on her. Got her phone? Interesting. Oh, shit. Well. happens if we take a look at it. She doesn't look too bad, honestly. And there's that booty. 
Man, Emma, it sucks that you were such an awful person. It is time you take a dip, my dude. Okay. I don't know how to use the other outfits, honestly. Maybe it's in settings. Max. Okay. Okay, Caitlin. Your brain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. They're coming back for a chance again. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Okay. I need to get to a vantage point. First things first. We gotta go to the kitchen. Because in the kitchen... Abby's bag is here. What the heck is this? Our ticket of death. I'm a happy, happy bunny. <sighs> okay. That's what we need. Alright. And then this is the freezer we gotta get to, so... Gotta dust off my palms for this one. Showtime, motherfuckers. a little run around game with Caleb Generously knocking on the door. Oh, there we go. Oh, the door didn't break. I'm surprised. That's some hard wood. Let's try something different. See if we can do it. Beam. It's just a quicker way across. God, that is stressful. Holy. Why do he miss? I don't understand. He had a clear range of me, but okay. Run. To the kitchen! Here we go. All right. Phase two.
Okay. Freezer. Okay. Use decoy. Fail the QT? And that kills Caitlyn and Caleb. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Oh, hello, Silas. Okay, so... That? Here's what we gotta do, I think. So... You take the wheel. Travis! Travis, get it together, come on! And then you fail the QTE. dead. And then the car crashes really badly. Okay. So Ryan's now dead. Okay. So Travis and Ryan are dead. Up. I think we delayed her thing a little bit, but get the gun. Silas is dead. And she's dead now. Laura's dead. Everybody died! Everyone's dead. Nope. All dead. That's how it's done. Damn. Ooh. Interesting. Man, she's really bad at us. We didn't get her a single card, and we killed her baby boy. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Lady, you didn't like us from the beginning. No, not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, whisper from the shadows. Shadows, the breath on the back, back of your neck. neck. It's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Yeah, she should be happy because we killed the Hackett's, but she wanted the Hackett's dead because they were after her baby boy. So, we just killed her baby boy, so it, it doesn't matter. And there we go, the Hackett's Quarry Massacre. <laughs> and everyone's dead, and we don't give a shit. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> oh god, this is gonna be so weird. Emma! Killed by Werewolf Max. Oh god. Jacob drowned. Still in the bottom of the fucking lake. Oh, Dylan losing his hand. Killed by a werewolf. Scrapyard. Oh. How was the saddest death? Bobby dead. Mauled to death by werewolf brother. Chris shot by Ryan. Oh, God. Constance got her face shot off by Laura. Jedediah is choked to death by Laura. Nick shot dead by Laura. Kaylee was already dead, so it doesn't matter. Right? Chris's head grew back. That's nice. Oh, Abby. Oh. And Nick tore her head from her body. Oh. Oh, God. Max. <laughs> the texture's loading in. Hungry Caleb was waiting for him. Aw, Caitlin! She was dragged inside with him and killed. Oh god, now she glitched! She's alive now! There's Caleb. He froze to death in the freezer. Travis beheaded by Silas. Aw, Ryan. Laura. Killed by Silas. And there's Silas laying in the fucking road. Imagine driving up to that scenario. Like driving up to that car accident, you're like, whoa, what the fuck? Someone's missing a head. There's a shotgun. <laughs> like, that's just nuts. Like. Imagine explaining that. Nobody's alive now. No one's alive. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if anyone who watches this later wants me to continue playing more of the quarry, please let me know. And I can try doing some of the other stuff, even if on my own if we don't want to watch it streamed if it's too much because I mean I've replayed the game so many times already it's it's good it's it's a very interesting game and uh, I uh, I do enjoy it I I do find loopholes in it and I think I keep finding loopholes because I have played the game so much so now I'm just starting to like I'm, I'm forced to watch all the cutscenes because there's no way to skip the cutscenes so it just makes me think of like but wait this and that and this doesn't make sense so but to each their own opinion but anyway thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys next time until then take care and bye bye